Hello everybody, this video is brought to you in part by The Infinite Zero and The Art Room. Found in the Discord, linked in the description. I can help pair you up with an artist or graphic designer who can get you started on your YouTube journey. Or just commission for any old piece of artwork. As well as getting to know and having a talk with the community. As well as The Infinite Zero Patreon, where for a bare minimum of a dollar a month, you can help support this channel. Help me raise the production value and fund the Chromatic Chronicles comic that I'm currently working on. As well, in the highest tier, getting your very own supporting and major part in the comic storyline itself. Check me out on Twitter where I draw various art of OCs and fake mon, as well as the pages for the Chromatic Chronicles as soon as they come out. Twitch is where I do all my gaming stuff, like, obviously. Also, use and check out hashtag versus BBVerse to check out the Friday Night Funkin' mod a friend of mine's working on. Starring everybody's favorite fangirl, Beepy. Everyone's been working so hard on it, it's gonna be great. Now thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, how many of you who first watched this got confused when you saw some random guy walk up to a random door, huffing and puffing like he just ran a marathon? Yeah, that's what I thought. And that kidney I just sold was, uh, 1.2 mil. I know I don't really have to say this, but I feel like I got it anyway. Anyone who's watching, if you're down on your luck and you need some cash quickly, um, don't sell your fucking organs. Just because you have two of something doesn't mean you have to get rid of one just to make some quick cash. So as of today, I owe over 38 million yen. That's roughly $270,000, by the way, in U.S. money. Yeah, this thing's got to be the tomato devil, sir. Burn the seeds or it'll use them to come back for round two. Wait a minute. Didn't Denji just say, But a dead one's good for about 300 thou. If the full price for the fucking Tomato Devil's corpse is 300 thou, why not just keep the seeds and, you know, plant them and regrow it? If it's worth 300 thou every time, just keep regrowing and killing it, and you'll be out of debt by the end of the month. That's before subtracting your debt payment and interest, though, which whittles it down to 170,000. Then there's the finder's fee, admin fee, management costs, and so on. I don't know if there's a fate or a destiny devil, but if there is, they really have it out for Denji. I've been caught up with the manga for a bit now, and honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if the destiny devil just really fucking hated Denji and just wanted his life to suck as hard as possible. And after reading Chainsaw Part 2, it really does feel that way. Is a broke-ass kid and his creepy little pet honestly the best fit for this sort of job? Why are you questioning this? He's been killing devils quite efficiently and raking in the Yakuza massive profit. In fact, if you kept the tomato devil seeds and just had Denji kill them over and over and over again, you'd have your very own personal cash cow. Also, what the fuck is up with your face, man? Your face is just screaming, I want to strangle that kid's throat and then take a shit in his mouth. Oh ho ho ho! Denji went to the Peter Parker school of making money off your enemies. <laughs> oh, this is why I love Chainsaw Man. Well, one of the reasons. That cowardly bastard strung himself up before paying this month's installment. So let me get this straight. Denji's mom dies of a heart disease, and after getting into a massive debt with the Yakuza, Denji's dad hangs himself. Like, not even for a devil contract. And now Denji's stuck with the bill and has to sell off his organs, otherwise he's gonna get turned into a scrapple. Fuck, man. That Destiny Devil really fucking hates Denji for some reason. Okay, no spoilers or anything, but Pochita literally just escaped hell and the wrath of four extremely powerful devils. How the fuck did he get out of hell? And more importantly, how did fighting those devils end up with him just escaping with a few gunshot wounds? Struck a deal with the devil. We wanted to obtain demonic power and see ourselves grow stronger. Whereas I want to see every devil hunter in existence perish. 
My dude, it was a deal with the fucking devil. The zombie devil, specifically. How the fuck does having more power do you any good when you're a mindless walking corpse with no agency of your own? I'm the zombie devil. You really should have chosen an occupation that doesn't butcher my kind. You know, in hindsight, aside from the zombie and leech devil, I really don't think that devils give a fuck if people kill them. You know, like, the falling devil put a hole in some other giant devil just because it thought her food was crap. Not to mention all the contracted devils. What about them? Do you hate them just as much as you do humans? Huh? What's going on here? You're still alive after being cut to ribbons? Repulsive freak. Yeah, repulsive freak. That's the response a devil should have to a human just spontaneously regenerating everything. You know, I heard a lot of people didn't like the Chainsaw Man anime because it looked bad. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. It looks great, even with CGI. And also, remember Undertale? You know, that big thing that was done in 8-bit? Just because something is visually inferior to what's currently on the market doesn't make it bad. Especially when it has such a banger story attached to it. Oh yeah! Once you jerk the worm food, it's bye-bye dead! <laughs> I won't know a damn thing! And this first episode is what got me hooked into Chainsaw Man. And what's even more amazing, the anime sounds good in both sub and dub. That is a rarity. And I love Mappa Studio, but can they please stop with Jujutsu Kaisen for just one year? Give us Chainsaw Man Season 2. You don't blue ball us when the next arc in the series is the Bomb Girl arc. Not to mention, one of the best moments in the entire manga happens in the arc right after. So then, this your handiwork? And thus, everyone got their new control waifu. Stay back, I got a chainsaw! Uh-oh. <laughs>